Hi. Now, in this next part of this question, we're asked to use calculus to find the minimum value of p. Remember, in the previous part of the question, we showed that the primitive p meters of the flower bed here was given by p equals 8 over x plus 2x. So if this is a question you'd like to uh, do, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, so let's see how you may have got on. Well, essentially, to do this, what we've got to do is remember that if we were to sketch the graph of P against X, not that you're expected to draw this sketch, OK? It's just a, an overview of what's going on. X represents a length, and it's going to have to be a positive value. And if we looked at this graph for positive values of X, it would look something like this, OK? And what we're trying to do is find out where this minimum point is. And at this minimum point, the gradient of the tangent drawn at this point would be 0. dp by dx, in other words, would equal 0. And so we should be able to locate what this value of x is and then go on to work out what that minimum value of the perimeter p would be. So that's essentially how I'm going to approach this problem, using calculus then, which is to differentiate in this case. We need to differentiate p with respect to x, and I notice that the term 8 over x isn't in a suitable form, so you write it as 8x to the power minus 1. Remember, x to the power minus 1 is 1 over x. And then we got the plus 2x. So we should be able to now differentiate this with respect to x. So we therefore got dp by dx equals, and in the usual way, we multiply the minus 1 with the 8 and get minus 8, subtract 1 from the power and you get x to the power minus 2. And for this second term, differentiating that, it just goes back to 2. OK. Now, let's just clean this up. Whenever you've got negative powers, it's a good idea just to rewrite this then as 8 times 1 over x squared, which is going to end up being 8 over x squared. And then we've got plus 2. And we know that the gradient here at this minimum point is going to be 0. So we just put here that at a minimum, OK, I'll just abbreviate it to min, we know that the gradient dp by dx will equal 0. And so therefore, all we need to do is put this equation, minus 8 over x squared plus 2 equal to 0. And you can solve this in many ways, but it's a good idea, I think, to get rid of the fraction first of all. So I'm going to multiply throughout by x squared. So if we multiply the first term by x squared, we're just left with minus 8. Next term by x squared is 2x squared, and the 0 by x squared just gives us 0. So that means that if I was to, say, add 8 to both sides, we'd therefore have 2x squared equals 8. Just divide both sides by 2, and you've got x squared equals 4. And now take the square root of 4, and you get x equals plus or minus 2. But we know that x, being a length, has to be positive, has to be greater than 0. So what that means now is that, therefore, x must be equal to 2. And now that we've got x equals 2, we can find out what the perimeter is. So therefore, the perimeter p would be 8 divided by 2 plus 2 times 2. So in other words, you've got 4 plus another 4, which is going to be 8. So the perimeter is 8 meters. All right.